Propulsion attention. What the fuck does that mean? Let's switch it back to English. Drive system warning, limited performance. All right, here we go. Let's get some tires. Hello, wie geht's? How are you? Yeah, we're fine. You? I'm good. I'm just a little worried about the car, obviously. Let me... Let, I'm gonna plan on coming down there and we'll see you tomorrow morning. Leipzig. Now oh, we could pull in like this. Oh sure. They're quite sticky right now and warm. Very warm these tires. And that is like they're over a hundred degrees. You can feel it. Another glorious day here in the back of the Lambo. Oh, the rest stop. And Lamborghini Leipzig opens in about an hour and 45 minutes. So get time to get packed up, get some breakfast, maybe even get a little workout and a shower. And we can hit Lamborghini Leipzig. Stay tuned. this one right <laughs> okay so you have to kind of give it yes, a you, start you push this and then with your elbow a little, <laughs> a little <laughs> punch and then the kick <laughs> but see this is gonna get you know you're in snow well if you're driving this <laughs> you're gonna <laughs> right across there with your, with your shoes yes so you have to be light to get in you can't be in fact <laughs> no <laughs> Well, thank you for resetting the code. No problem. I appreciate it. Thank you very much for showing us around. I appreciate it. If you guys are in this area, come to Lamborghini Leipzig. They're super nice. Even though English is their second language, they communicate very well. They help us out with everything we need. We have a lot of fun every time we come here. Definitely check it out, Lamborghini Leipzig. Stay tuned. here in front of this I think monastery church whatever it is ancient thing there are lots of people in cars going by maybe they won't notice the Lamborghini here with the homeless cameraman camped out next to it I don't know we'll see well that was interesting to say the least 
We have very discreetly here. Everything on the shade side, we found the shade spot in between the two lights of the doors. Maybe we'll get some commotion in the middle at midnight from the police side. Maybe a fox will come snuggle with senior camera, I don't know. But anyway, this is our spot for the night. We've got a very awesome, beautiful, beautiful piece of ancient history right here. And in the morning, we'll take some better videos of it. Good night. Everything is fine. Okay. But um, it's not allowed to park here, okay? Oh, you can't okay. park here? No. Have a nice day. Okay. Thank okay. you. So apparently there's no parking, there's no staying here. But maybe they don't know that um, we stayed here for a little while. Shh. Someone called in the plate, really? I think someone called in and said they're like camping here. And they just happened to show up and we completely packed everything up when we did. Luckily we were literally perfectly packed up. All of our gear, like right there put away ready to go this is it's 7 28 in the morning that's why i wanted to get up at six o'clock as we did to kind of get the rig and roll going pack everything in and, and such forth alles gut What is not allowed? Parking. Oh, that's not a parking spot? But the police said you can't park out there. If you can't park in here and you can't park out there, where can you park? No, we decided to go into the Rose Garden since that's what we camped out here to see is the Rose Garden and saw the beautiful view of the Rose Garden. So apparently we can't bring the vehicle in there. There was no signs that said we can't bring a vehicle in. There were signs that said you can't bring a bicycle in. So I assumed that a vehicle was henceforth okay. And to validate it, his car, the manager of the little Rose Museum garden, had his car there. So I just parked right next to his car and somewhat he comes out and freaks out. But that's what this adventure is about, is going around and figuring out what we can and can't do here in this country. And this morning, we figured out we can't stay here. Luckily, the police found us, Polizei, a little bit after we had stayed here, allegedly camped. Anyway, it's a beautiful, peaceful town right here. We're enjoying our time in Germany. This is absolutely awesome. I'm so glad that I could share it with you guys. Let me know what you think down in the comments below about this stubborn old kraut being more worried about parking than his own damn museum and garden. At any rate, on with the journey. It's quite funny, I really think, in the small little town of Bamberg, and we just parked yeah, where it looked like a normal spot. Uh, everyone walking by, like these guys right here, pointing at it, looking at it, talking about it. The crazy part is the car. The crazy part is the hitch on the back of the car. Because this is something quite unusual. Chance I'm coming down, no. Got a soul view to myself, yeah. Why would I give it up? Why do they want to come take my place? I work too hard for it, don't need a replacement. This my vocation, now I got rollies. 2016, when I was last here, those two guys with their 911s somehow got access and had their film crew that had a camera circling around the car, getting this awesome B roll shots that makes for great, awesome photographs and pictures of the car. So to be able to come here and do this now seven years later with my own nice car. It feels really good. Elevate, elevate. Yeah. Hey, when you elevate. Elevate, elevate. Hey, when you elevate. Yeah. 
had to elevate. Ooh, yeah. Why they wanna put me down? Uh, so much drip, yeah, I almost drowned. So, just looking at the plan. The plan's gonna change a little bit. Figured out that there is an Audi museum in Ingolstadt. So I think the plan is now to head down to Ingolstadt, hit the Audi Museum, which is open on a Monday, which is great. Things are flexible to change because their plan is nine plan. Stay tuned. Oh, I might just pull up before it. Watch out the engine is roaring. It's too loud, you can ignore it. Yeah, yeah. This the highlights for the You could have it all, no need to choose. First, let me demonstrate how you can rise to the top. Yeah, I had to elevate. Okay, so I'm gonna finish my dinner here. Looks like I've got some tenants complaining about something, threatening some lawsuits, so I gotta deal with that. And then off to bed here at Audi Ingolstadt. Tomorrow, hopefully, we'll get this tour. What's going on? I called my chef. Uh huh, chief? My chief, yeah. Uh -huh. Because I never saw something like that before. Yeah. And he said that's not okay. Like in the car, okay, yeah, no problem. But uh, the place is private from Audi, and you can't stay here if you want to do it like that. So you have to go search another place, or you both mm. go in the car. So that you know? ah, so it's not allowed. No, it's not allowed. Mm. But in the car is okay, but outside the car is in not the car, okay. It would be okay, mm -hmm. uh, but like this, not allowed. It's not allowed. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, yeah. but it, it is like this. My yeah. chief said it and you can search another place and then you can make it like that. So mm -hmm. it's not from Audi, but here it's not okay. Mm. I'm sorry. Can't okay. make it like that. Okay. okay, okay. I'm sorry. Sounds good. No worries. Okay, have a good night. All right, so Audi has said that I can stay here in the Lambo Camper Genie, but senior camera cannot VVAC camp with or without a tent. Doesn't matter on the Audi property. So we're going to go over there to where the concrete wall is, go over the concrete wall. I can park the car, I'm still in the Audi and he's just on the other side of the wall. He can sleep, I can sleep. We can wake up in the morning and head inside. Okay. I'm making my own granola. Got my bag hanging. A mix of nuts. Oh, I need to add my cashews too. Look. Perfect. Let's go. The hell was you in the vein? The second of losses, I'm handing them out. Yeah, I had to go get a gay. The Philip like Audi. It's all the fake Audis. Look at the yellow one, it's an ugly one. They've taken a Yaris and they've lifted it. It might even be a Prius. You know what? That's a Prius. It's a Prius and they've done a the little Bondo work. Make it look like an Audi. It's fake to me. We're going to go to the fake Audi museum here shortly. We've got to get a new SIM card and then we're going to the fake Audi museum. There's another fake Audi. And then we're going to see if we can buy a fake Audi badge. Look, there's one there. Maybe we just pop it off that car, the fake Audi badge. The Audi badge may be real, all right? We'll give them that. But the car is not an Audi. It's fake. Look, now there's a proper car that is a, is a, a Tesla, followed by a fake Audi and a fake Audi. A few moments later. All right, well, everything happens on the road, and now I'm feeling a little bit sick, a little feverish. It's like... 70 degrees and I feel like freezing, shivering. Just checked into this hotel, hoping to crank the heat, put on a bunch of blankets. I'm just coming back to the car here, grab some uh, hat and uh, warm layers. Might be held down here in Ingolstadt in the hotel of the Audi uh, training center for a little while while I uh, potentially get over this little fever. Need some chicken noodle soup. Somebody send it. I feel like I just ran like two marathons. Every muscle, every bone is like weak and achy. My butt cheeks. I couldn't stay comfortable, but my fever's gone way down. So I have no energy. 
Um, for me, it's just like an analytical analysis of what got me sick. You know, was it a person? Was it something I ate? Was it that potato meatball thing? Was it the pork thing? Was it like some of those nuts that I bought had a disease? Was it like, I don't know, it just scares me. All right, guys, I am feeling a whole lot better now, and we're gonna go today for real to the Audi Museum. That is right, we're going to see if we can find ourselves a real Audi. A real freaking Audi. Oh, look, they have a spots you can park over there that are shaded. It seems we can park any which way we want. So, we gotta be quick in this museum because they close in 1.2 hours. Let's roll. Here we have it, the 1939 fake Audi limousine. See, it's really an auto union and they've just put the Audi thing in there. It's fake, it's bloody fake. Now this is real here, a real way to get shot in war. Could you imagine being on this thing, you're riding up here, sure you have all of this industrial mechanism under you, going slower than hell, getting shot at. Designed in 1939. Now this is a cutaway model, which is cool because you can see that everything's constructed out of wood. You can see how they originally used to construct the seats with the metal springs and the different layers of rope and cloth. You know, it's interesting to look at, especially comparing it to the modern cars. Higher size of that. Look at all the finishes and the chrome and the styling. This was a car that was designed for the wealthy. Is it a regular car? It looks like a fire truck. It says fake Audi. It's a fake Audi. It's the first one. 1951 D. K W. It's another fake Audi. This is the 1960 Type F91-4 Munga. I think this is probably the ugliest Audi ever designed, conceived, on road. 2001 Audi A2. A horrible looking car. Two thousand fourteen Audi TT off road concept actually looks pretty cool. This is very fashion forward for twenty fourteen. Look at that. That's like what looks like the modern Audis today, and this one too. Oh wow! This is another twenty fourteen concept sport concept. All right, here I am at the Audi Forum Ingolstadt, which I believe is the worldwide main factory and headquarters for Audi Group of the world. And this is their museum. We just went through it. They rushed us out because we were on the nick of time. They actually kicked us out a few minutes early, the damn Germans. Now, the vehicles, the cars that they had there were very cool. They had a lot of different awesome things. I also saw and was reminded that Audi used to build a lot of shit vehicles. Unreliable, ugly looking things. The modern stuff pumping out of Audi, in my opinion, looks really phenomenal. And maybe in 10 years it won't look so phenomenal, but when I look back at even like a 2006 onward Audi, I really say that all of that stuff seems to look pretty nice. So yeah, that's the uh, tour here 
from the Audi Ingolstadt Museum. And we're looking at the next location to drive to. We're going into Google Maps and we're entering, that is right, Top G House. Education Center, open 24 hours a day, allegedly, according to Google. 16 hours, 38 minutes, and 1,562 kilometers to get from here. We are in Germany, down through Slovakia, Hungary, into the far side of Romania. It is time to hit the road. Hopefully, Andrew Tate will be nice to us when we go to interview him. Well, what color is your guy? <laughs> and uh, hopefully, he'll give us an interview to talk to him about his cars. I don't know. We'll see. Time will tell. We are officially in Österreich, Austria. This is country number three so far. We've done the USA, the USA, we've done Germany, and now Austria. Here we go. Gates open. Let's check it out. Officially in Hungary, the car has now been to four different countries. The US, Deutschland, Österreich, and Hungary. Alright. Passing in to the Romanian border. All right, here we go, crossing through the border. Hello. Passport, sir. Hello. Yeah? Both are not recording. Okay. This is the first thing that's not okay. The other thing being, you don't have a license to come your phone number. Yeah, the car's from America. I know, but you want to go with one Romanian road, don't you? Yeah. Romanian law <clears throat> states that every car needs to have two license plates, one in the front and the back. 